Well, hello and welcome to the uh, this the new channel for members, um, for beginners and intermediate level. It's taken me a bit of time to get this uh, up and running, but anyway, we're finally here. And um, I'd like to say thanks to those people who have uh, joined already, and there's a few others starting to make inquiries, so hopefully we can get them on board. So let's get started. So what are we going to do? Uh, well, I am going to do this little uh, painting here, this photograph. I've called it Springtime Walk. Get away from the snow, the winter's gone, the dark and dreary mornings and nights. So let's get some spring colours, blue skies, green fields, some nice trees. There's uh, two buildings down there and two figures out for a walk. So I'll start off um, as usual with a, I'll make a sketch. I'll pause the camera for a bit so you can um, have a look at the sketch. Um, and then I'll just crack on and uh, hopefully this will be of some help. And uh, you can have a go and see how you, you do. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the sketch. Um, Right, I'll just let you see this picture again, that's it there. What I'll do is, um, I'll look to see how far or how high that is. I'll do it here and I'll take that down to about the, there's a kind of line there which is about halfway. And um, I'll take a note of this bit here. You see I'm just making marks on the paper to give me a guide and there would be a, a path somewhere about there. Okay, so let's make a start. Right, so the, um, the big hill at the top comes down, down at an angle and um, kind of goes across to here and finishes about there. So there's another sort of grassy bank about here. I'm going to put that in. Down to there. And then this um, pathway starts to come round like so. And there's another bit that brings it round like that. And this hill continues on down here. So there's, there's a grassy bit in the centre that looks as if there's been a tractor or cars or lorries or something through here down to the, the buildings. Right, so there's a little a sort of wall down here in the centre. Goes down. And these buildings, I'm just going to have a look at them, um, they start about here, there's one taller than the other one, there's one there, and one there, so I'm just going to overlap that a bit, there's one building like so, and this other one goes along about there. So as I said earlier, you might want to um, just freeze this little bit or just go back on it again to see what I've done there. To, it's important that you get the sketch in and the wall continues about there. Right, now I'm going to have a tree um, about here. Now I'm not going to draw this tree in um, at the minute. Um, what I'm going to do is just give me a feel for, I'll just let you see this again. just want to show you what I'm doing here. I'm just getting a basic feel for where these tops of the branches are going to be. And down here and there's one or two over there. I'll be putting the trunk and the branches in later. I'll do that after. And same with the figures. Um, 
see there's two little figures here. I'm just going to leave that. I'll put a sort of suggestion so I know where they are, but um, we'll, we'll paint that in later. Right, so that's the sketch done. So what we need to do now is get the paints out, mix up the colours and get started. Now, just before I start uh, the sky, um, which in this one you'll see is a pure cobalt blue sky, not a mark, a cloud in the sky. Um, that is actually quite difficult to do. I've got um, people who come to my uh, afternoon weekly class who still struggle with this and it's not as easy as it looks. I just want to remind you about this um, painting that I did recently about the two trees but I just want to mention if we forget the trees look at the background of that sky and you'll see there's not a mark at all so what uh, I might do is um, I'm just going to slightly change this sky a bit for this painting today but I might do another session very short one just showing you how to do that sky um, it's quite important that you get that because if you get streaky marks in it it just doesn't look right so um, I'll have another short session just on a pure cobalt blue sky right so let's get started for this one as I say I'm going to put um, one or two little clouds in just to break it up a bit so I'm going to start off with um, mixing up, let's swing round, let you see it, cobalt blue. Now, here's a, a bad start. My brush has got some green on it from a previous painting, so there's a lesson, always clean your brush. Right, some clean water and cobalt blue. And there we are. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, I'm going to mix that up to about a, a seven value. And swing round now and start uh, putting it in. And as I say, I'm going to dab some clouds out, so I'll just try and get it filled in to start with. So you can see I'm just going down the following the hill down there letting the paper run down uh, sorry the paint run down the paper the board's at an angle remember always try and keep your your board at a slight angle when you're painting right there we are just going to drag that away right let's get the towel out crunch it up and I'm going to take some clouds out one or two up there and something up here just to break it up right that's not too bad Right, what I'm going to do as well, well, I've got some of that blue still there, I'm going to add a little bit of light red, just make it into some grey, and I'm just going to drop some in here, just below, on the bottom half of the, the clouds, and um, what I'm going to quickly do is soften that off and what I mean by soften off is I just get some clean water and just add it to the top half of that to soften that up and there we are that looks quite acceptable right that'll be the sky finished so I'm just going to let you see the picture again going to tackle this hill over on the left hand side 
and bring it right down to this field area here. Now it's a sort of yellow, ochre, light brown colour. Right, so I'm going to swing round again, let you see the, the palette. And what I'm going to do is just get some yellow ochre. And I'm going to just start off with that colour first. Um, and then I'll add some bits and pieces as we get further down. Right, so here we go. Start off at the top again. That sky has dried quite nicely, so I can go straight into that. And just taking my time down here. And paint round the, the roof and the buildings and down to the wall at the far corner. Right. Now, I just want to add a little bit of colour to this. That's a bit too stark. Just... Um, let you see the picture again. As you see, there's some different colours up there, browns and greens. So I'm just going to drop some in. Uh, I'm going to mix up some brown. So let you see a bit of brown going in there. I'm going to just mix it up with that colour that I had there, that bluey colour. And I got a kind of dirty brown which I was looking for. I'm just going to drop some of that in there. And uh, just to give it a bit of texture to add to the shape rather than just have it all the one colour. Right, there we are. Okay. Right, I'm just going to zoom out a bit. Um, there's a sort of green field here just behind the, the um, building, so I'm going to put that in first and then I'll paint that wall that goes along. So, a bit of green. Uh, I'll just let you see some yellow ochre, a bit of Windsor blue. And we've got a green. Right, so I'm just going to paint that in there just now. Uh, just going to watch that bit that's left for the tree, the trunk, and put that bit in as well. Right, that's that filled in. So, um, what I think I'll do now is just crack on with this big uh, green area on the left and the right. So I need a big yellow, you'll see this is really light green, summery, springtime green. So different from this yellowish colour. So I need to get um, a big green wash mixed up. So let's fling in some cadmium yellow, and quite a lot of this as you can see I'm mixing up quite a, a big pool right to where uh, it's a lovely green. Right so let's get this filled in, let's zoom out a touch. Right so I'm just going to start here and uh, work my way down. Right down to the the path and big wash. Just fill it all in. Mm, that looks like a so that was a bad piece of paper. You sometimes get that, and if that ever happens to you, don't worry. It's not your fault. That's just a, a blotch on the paper, but it seems to be okay. There was a part about there, I thought there was something wrong with the paper, but it's fine. 
Right, I'm uh, just going to carry on. So let's get this bit filled in on the right hand side. That's the path coming in. So you can see I'm going fairly quickly here. Just want to get it all blocked in as quick as possible. And uh, there's a little bit in the centre. Yeah, it's like probably tractors or vans or something. I've just uh, left the the mark here for the the path. So let's get that in. Right, I think that's about it. Just finishing off here, trying to create the the shape that comes down and goes higher again over the bumps here and down. Right, that's quite good. We'll just leave that to to dry. <coughs> what I'm going to do now is just while that's drying, I'm going to go up and paint that wall that's across there. So I need a dark brown colour. I'm just going to use some burnt umber here. And maybe a bit of blue, ultramarine blue, gives me a, a nice dark colour. Right, so I just want to put that in. So I'll do the bit on the right hand side first. finish this bit here that comes down. Strengthen it up a bit the colour. Right. So I'm just going to paint round the tree again. And down to the wall on the other side, right? That's that fine, that's good. Right, I'll try and do while I'm on the path areas. I think I'll just fill that in with a hmm, a sort of sandy colour. Something like that, that will do. Right. Well, you can see I'm going fairly quickly here. I'm just trying to get it all blocked in. That's the style that I use. Three stages. I do the sketch. And then I block it in or fill it in as quickly as possible with colour. That's what I'm trying to do just now. Then I'll add the details. So, um, right, let me see. I think we'll do the buildings. I uh, just want to zoom around. I want a stony colour. So I'm going to get some cadmium yellow, a little bit of grey, and that gives you a nice stone colour. So I'm going to do the bit on the, the, the side, these bits, because the light's coming from the right. So I just want to get that wall in. It's quite a nice stony colour. Right. Um, I think I'll put the roof in while I'm on the roof. So I'm going to just zoom round a bit and get some grey and put it in with that colour that I had. I don't want a dark grey, I want a greeny grey. Suggest a bit of moss. Right, let's get that in. 
So I'll start off here. It's just a bit dark. That'll do. Let me get this top one in. And it comes over to about there. And then I'm going to just do this one while I'm at it. Right, it's got a nice colour. What I'm going to do is put a, a light yellow ochre on the front of these two buildings. So I say the light's coming that way so it will be lighter. And that bit will be in the dark in the shade so just going to fill that in just now and that will be all done. Right. Right, there we are. Right, so we'll just leave that. That's that finished. Taking shape. Looks quite good. There's some uh, trees and bushes and shrubs and stuff behind the um, the wall so I just want to do that in very loosely just now just come along here when you're as we go through the various um, videos and tuition you'll find um, I'll be telling you to when you're painting from a photograph we're not trying to produce another photograph we're trying to do a painting and this is where you come in with your own style so what I'm going to tackle now is the um, tree and um, some of the lines that I had originally have kind of disappeared a bit. I'm just going to follow that up to where they were. So about here. This is really for the the bits of the tips of the branches. It's almost like somebody's come along with a hedge trimmer and got them all nicely trimmed there. So these will be up about here. Now, <coughs> this is quite a tricky bit. Um, what I want to do is try and create a sort of thickness of just a suggestion of colour on the top there. Uh, there might be some leaves left over or it's just a combination of thin branches so what I need is um, right, I need to watch this this is uh, quite tricky what I'm doing here is mixing up colour a bit of a grey and a bit of a brown but I've got hardly any paint here and I'm going to use my little bit of towel I'll just show you this again because what I do is dab it and I'm trying to get that really soft um, almost dry paint and I'm going to have a go at this that's quite nice Right, you can see I'm almost scraping this down here and filling in these bits. So hopefully all the paint that I've got on the brush is going to, going to be enough to get me through this, hopefully. Right, that's quite nice. Right, 
think that will do. Now that um, is quite tricky that you'll have to work on doing that. I'll show you what happens just now if you don't um, get that soft like that. What will happen is, it's got a piece of scrap paper here. Uh, right, um, yeah, if, if you, if the wash that you mixed up was too, too watery, this is what would happen. You try to get that effect up there. Try to get this effect. This is what you would get. Now look at that. It's just solid. And the reason for that is there's too much paint on the brush. So you have to get your piece of towel and keep dabbing until you get to the stage. There we are. You're almost scraping it on. So let's tackle the uh, tree. So I'm going to mix up a, a dark brown colour and let's see how we get on. So I've got some burnt umber here, a bit of Payne's grey. Um, have a nice dark brown. So let's um, get around here and start the tree. So I'm going to start with a dark colour on the left hand side. Yep. And I'm quickly going to move over to the rigger brush because that's too thick now. I want to get some nice um, thin branches going up. So here we go. Just going to take that up there. Across there's one here and there. As you can see, this is um, fairly thin lines here for the branches, very delicate strokes. Right, and I've got some up here. Right, so that's the, the basics. Now we just have to get these really fine, fine lines for the, the top part. Now again, this is just barely any paint on the brush at all. Thin branches. What you could actually do here is, um, in fact, I'm going to try it. You could get uh, a fine marker pen if you have any, and try and paint in some. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to Right, just now, here we are, with a pen, oh, point to one, so I'm going to try and paint in some very, sorry, draw in some very fine lines here, and it's, it's quite effective. But if not, you can just carry on with the, um, the rigger and take your time. I 
And you see how so fine this is that it's helping. Right. <clears throat> it's almost there. I'm just going to put in one or two branches going across. There, just to fill in some of these gaps there. Just make it look a bit more acceptable. Right. Now, what I'm going to do here is just um, soften this bit of the trunk, the thick part. I'm just going to add some water to that and then bring it down a bit. And what that does is you can see it gives the feeling that the, the light's hitting that tree. So there we are, that's um, turned out not too bad. Next I'm going to just try and add a bit of detail to the buildings on the right. this one and um start a little bit of shadow below it and I suggest some stones and um I'm going to put a door in there just to make it look a bit more presentable. <coughs> what else I'm going to do? I'm going to get this pen again and make some, suggest some uh, tiles on the roof. I didn't plan this pen but I'm uh, <laughs> starting to quite enjoy doing this. Let me put one or two up there as well. Right, there we are. Right, we're nearly there. All we've got to do is um, tidy this path up a bit, put some big shadows in, and the two figures, and we're almost there. So, what I just want to do first is um, add a little bit of texture to the, the path area. So, what I'm going to do is just add some dark green and take it down the front area, same with this side here, and uh, I'll show you what I'm going to do shortly. Just going to add a little bit there. Right, get some water. Water is your best friend. And just get some clean water and uh, drag it down there a bit to suggest the shape. Right, get some over here. Yeah, that super effect you get with the water, just letting it do its its job. Just gonna put some bits across there, and that'll about do. <laughs> um, I'm going to just add a little bit of texture to the to the pathway here, just some lines up there to break that bit up. Don't 
don't be frightened to try this. A lot of people are, I could just imagine some of you sitting now going, my God, how does he do that? People are frightened to try these sort of things, so just go for it. Bits like this, you think, good, that doesn't look right. Get some water, drop it in and just leave it. Come back in five minutes and it looks perfect. Okay, so two bits to go. You'll notice there's some shadows across here. It's like as if there could be a tree or two trees just outside the picture. So I'm going to put them in, the shadows across the, the field up, look over the path and up the hill. And then the two figures. So let's get the shadow in first. So I always use, I'll just flick over here and let me see. I tend to use um, ultramarine blue and and some light red. This colour down in the corner here. And it gives you a, a nice um, purpley blue sort of colour. Right, now what we've got to do now is paint these shadows. Now, <coughs> the, the trees, as I say, probably, well I'm going to suggest there's trees just here. So there'll be shadows coming over there, up the hill, the light's coming this way, remember, so go over, down, up, across, down, again. You don't want just straight lines, it just doesn't look right. So, let's have a go. Deep breath and in we go. So, I'm going to start here, shadow coming up that way. Down, going across the, the path, up and over that bit. Across the path again and up and up the hill here and then disappearing. So I'm just going to get another brush to do this. Right, get a smaller brush and um, drop some bits of branches in, just let them disappear up the hill. Too bad. Right, that's one done. So, I'll do another one now. Um, up some more paints, get a bit shot. Right, just going to strengthen some of that a bit. Shadows are always darker at the base, and then as they go further away, they get lighter colour. Okay, so I'm going to just make another one come up here a bit, just above it. And make one here, take it again just across the, the path, the track up over that little bit there, flat again, and then up and into the, the side of the hill there. So I'm just going to join some of these up, so yes, there's branches here. And in here, let them all just mingle in. Right, I think that looks that looks quite acceptable. So you see what I was saying? It's darker here, 
gets lighter as we get further away and lighter up the hill. Right, quite, quite happy with that. Right, so what size are these figures going to be? That's the problem. I'm going to put the head in about here. And um, you know, put the legs down about there. Because I want to add a bit of blue. I'm going to get some ultramarine blue and put a a jacket in. Right, I'll do for the the man. <coughs> and the woman, I'm actually just gonna make a red. Um, jacket just to brighten it up a bit so I'm going to put that there and uh, use some of the dark colour for the head and uh, Right, it's not too bad. Now I'll do. Now, um, just looking at this, there'll be shadows there as well, so may as well put these in while I've got a dark shadow colour, so I would actually go right across there and up the hill a bit. That one would come this way. Now, I'm just looking at that red that's running straight down into the, the blue, so I want to get that blue back for the trousers. Mm. There we are, that's better. Right. That's it finished. So just before I finish there's just one or two little bits I want to add which might help. Got some white here and um, what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of white on the side and the shoulders and the Always helps. And just want to add a little bit of dark brown to some of these bits on the, the tree, which will help. Right, um, just looking at this bit up here, I don't like that. What's wrong with that is there's too many colours of all the same tone. So what I need to do is um, slightly, I'm going to darken that bit a bit. So that will bring this forward. So I'm just going to get some yellow ochre, bit of brown in it and soft colour. I'm just going to take that up there a bit. Now you can see that's given that a different shape. And what else I'm going to do is um, these fields were originally a yellowish colour, so I'm just going to get some, just going to let you see this cadmium yellow. I'm just going to go over some bits in the, the painting with yellow. Right. And some 
little bits down here. And I'm at the stage where I'm going to spoil this painting, so I better stop. But that's better, I like that, that's helped a bit. So there we are, down finished. So here's the finished painting, I've zoomed in on the tree and the uh, figures just to let you see it a bit closer up and um, here's the finished painting itself. Now this was the first painting for the membership channel and um, it's quite long, I'm just looking at over 40 minutes so if there's bits there that you feel, for example, how to paint the tree, how to paint shadows again, the figures, um, just send some comments if you feel you'd like to see these done individually, short, sharp videos, um, rather than doing it all in one go. Anyway, hopefully you'll enjoy that and um, look forward to getting some of your comments as to how you managed to uh, progress with this one.